what's up guys this is the Rifeman and i am back to, to bring you the next episode of my empire total war let's play as the italian states so to round off up and last time uh we fought two battles against the swedes one down here in marseille and then one up north in uh, in um, england and we are just growing our forces ready to continue the push so we now have two we've got this force from spain that's going to attack uh, Bordeaux and destroy this force there. We've got this force here, which is waiting to, for reinforcements. Then I want to attack Clermont Ferrand. And then they will be ready to slowly push their way out of the city. Ideally, I'd like to destroy this army first before sending this guy to attack him. So this army can redeploy to try and take out wherever these guys go or provide reinforcements. But let's hit end turn. So our spies are going forward to continue their intelligence gathering activities across the border again Britain with its terrible trade deals Prussia is storming towards the Ottomans so hopefully they will keep them occupied we do have this navy swanning around with a full stack so ideally I would like to destroy that navy but I do not want to get into another great war like to just destroy the Swedes. Continue to push east. All of the riches of continental Europe, where we can then fight against the Mughals, both in their home territory and abroad. Oh, yeah. Oh, do, 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 do. Bridge battle. Bridge battle. Massive bridge battle. That's a lot of men. A lot of cavalry. And a lot of artillery but damn it i gotta give it a go that's so many troops essential to destroy right now so many and with our howitzers and quicklime i'm pretty sure we could get quite a good kill ratio going and we can just keep dropping into squares yes bridge battle so i need to deploy one howitzer here Let's give you four line in the Grenadier Guards to cover this flank, which might be a bit much. But then these guys are going to have three three line infantry units, two Swiss Guard, two Grenadier Guards. Actually, yeah, I might deploy another one over here. These guys get two units of cavalry, you get one unit of cavalry, uh, field artillery deploy and engage as you see fit. General probably on the left. And then these two units of howitzers. One can deploy here. The other I would like to probably move like over here. fellas form kill box with a union reserve these guys all fire at will for now just because they have no real reason to uh, attack howitzers are coming in as well which is nice It's a lot of artillery. And my artillery is coming in. Quick climb going in, bit of a miss. Some good hits. The 
Okay, I found my line. Everyone is going to open fire on the 14th. Yeah, regiment of cow. Thought it didn't last very long. Okay, you guys target the next battery along. The howitzer that's over here, you keep targeting. this unit and you fellas and Limba quick line fire it well and to be honest just keep dropping them right here you this guy keeps dropping them straight here this guy can fire it well he's also knocking out the guns although you can probably Skip that and also attack here. There we go, there go the Lancer Guards. Destroyed to a man. Here comes the 17th Regiment of Militia. Here we are being picked at by the artillery. Here comes the quick line. fellows. Drop a tasty bucket of quick lime on him. Oh, that was a misfire. Same there. God, these Swiss guards are really taking a lot of damage. Yes, that's what you want to see. Another one, but they misfired. Back they all go. God damn, this artillery is taking a toll on my men. Both engage them. Oh, God, they have tried to cross over here. I do want to send my cavalry over to destroy it. As the men get slaughtered at trying to cross the cold, damp, dark river. Reform Square. But at the very least, we can try and do a lot of damage to a bunch of troops. Yeah, there they go. You guys stop firing. Okay, this regiment of cuirassiers, you've got to cross the river. Firstly, you better come and actually take out the 12th. Okay, don't worry about that. Now cross the river. And take out their artillery. So they can't concentrate as effectively. The 6th are wavering. Goes halt fire. Okay, so where the, the reinforcements coming on from over here? 
Some of them are. Good. So they do have spikes, but they're facing the wrong way. So as long as we keep going left to right, or right to left. That's another artillery piece destroyed. So you guys can now just, to be honest, just fire at will. This unit is starting to be focus fired. Halt fire with the field artillery. Halt fire with the 27th regiment. I mean, I said halt fire, absolutely, I did. Attack the general's bodyguard. No, don't run after them. Trying to cross the river. You guys get into square. What? Guys, coming from that's like totally unfair. Okay, you guys need to kill the bodyguard, kill the artillery, because this is not good at all. That's their general gone. You go after the three pounders. You guys limber up. You kill their artillery here. You guys get into square. Good, charge on. Grenadiers, fire at will, hunker into square formation. The old artillery, just get over here. Get my cuirassiers over here to help them out. Make sure these guys don't charge backwards into my into the spikes. You go out of square formation, limber up. Get the cuirassiers over here quickly. You knock out that. Horse artillerymen also come over here and knock out that set of guns. Knock out that heavy horse artillery. Where's my other cuirassiers? They're over here. Fortunately, I think they're going to be bringing in armies from so many different directions that ne no particular army can build in strength. Horse artillery and guerrilla mercenaries. Kill the horse artillery, please. You guys hit the dragoons. You guys hold fire. Get my 
dragoons out. Just charge them around their infantry and go after their demi cannons. Get my cuirassiers out of there. You guys hit the marines, both of you hit the marines. Good, they're uh, shattered. You guys march up more aggressively. So you want them to be in a position to jump on them if any more men come. But that might be it. Field artillery can line up here and focus fire over the bridge. It looks like that's them. I'm going to leave them here for now. They're shattered so they won't come back. They're just broken. Try to get that cavalry unit back so these men can cover from the bridge because they're going to try to chase me down with their light horse. There we go. Just as more Swedish troops try cross over the cross over the crossing point, my men are very tired. But the hope is, as long as they can just get over the bridge before these fellas do, they should be okay. There we go. Good stuff. Keep dropping it in the centre. Come on, fellas. Now they change their mind. They do have some guns. This yeah. They have one artillery unit that's going to get bombarded by my foot artillery. You're firing at will, or you're firing at specific targets, you guys can fire at whoever you fancy. Cavalry's coming back, he's going back. Let's put my general over here now. These guys focus fire 22nd regiment. Good, 22nd regiment are routed. So you guys have eyes on the 7th Hussars. Let's keep targeting regiments individually just to make sure we are maximizing our firepower here comes the seventh hussars so the artillery's come in I could have my cavalry running havoc around these guys, but to be honest, I'm not that bothered about it. Ah, another general. Two generals.
militia. We can start running into trouble when we run out of ammunition. Some of our units are already running quite low. Why we just need the morale shattering effect to fire by rank, the round shot coming in. Good stuff. So much damage being done. But this is exactly why you have those armies placed in those positions, because you just want to cause as much damage as possible and bridge battles, I find, I think are just the best way to do it. Tenth light foot, I've had enough. Speed up time. If there's no particular unit being shot at, just speed up time and just let nature take its course. Could have been run and march so eagerly into our guns. Poor Grenadier Guards. Oh, no. Imagine being the militia now that has to charge through all of this and your, your men have got bad morale as it is. That might even be the last unit. Is that the last unit? Continue! All the guns stop firing. Bring out the cavalry. It might be a touch late, but... Yeah, it is. The edge of the map's not very far away, so it looks like everyone against this unit of militia. Oh well, I'll take it. Their army hadn't really taken much damage prior to that. Ooh, be careful of spikes. Run this way, and run this way, and then run this way. Same with my cuirassiers, who are probably knackered. Yep, they are. Come on, you've got so many guys. 90 men, 82, 80. 41. Ah, they're going to escape because they've scattered out effectively enough. Close victory. It was close. If there was another army coming in, I wouldn't have had the ammunition to stop them. But damn, pretty good. They put 7,000 men. So we, didn't, we only destroyed half of them, but it was a quarter of our forces. So I think that's actually quite a good trade. Now Swiss Guards. Yeah. Knock back some of their forces near Cologne. They're about to be immediately resupplied. But I don't think they can... Well, they definitely can't sustain that level of attrition. I don't think. The Mexican Navy is growing in the east. Eastern Madagascar region. Or the western Madagascar region. Successful mission. Kido Fierzy. So Cologne is still under observation. Oh, brave soldier mentioned in dispatches. Uberto Galvani 
even though his army actually uh, didn't really get involved. You guys replenish. Everyone needs troops. Probably pick up an extra unit of Swiss Grenadiers. There was a four. Yeah, don't recruit if it takes four turns to get over here. Union of Grenadier Guards. You guys can get Regiment of Horse to sit inside. Two regular units of Grenadiers. Actually, let's get some Engineers. Don't have any Engineers. I can't yet recruit actual Light Infantry. Why can't I Grenadier Guards? Don't get too many Elites, because otherwise you'll run out. Awesome. Let's upgrade this chap. Oh, I can't upgrade you. But gotta bear in mind our money situation is going down because our our military forces oh are severe and we've actually not got a very good justice minister. Plus one army, plus one management. Our army goes pretty good. Plus one management. Plus one to lower classes is handy. This guy just makes people happy. He's not necessarily very good. I like this guy. Morally impaired. It makes the lower classes happy. Frogan 50 no. Okay, let's get this guy in there. Everyone else is pretty good. Okay then, Giovanni Contarini. Let's go and attack. Evert Ivardsen. Let's go destroy another, not Spanish, Swedish stack in our territory. Because you see, they march and they've done a lot of raiding, but they haven't marched on Paris because they don't have the strength. So. Okie Let's bring our guns up to the top of the hill. We have a main main battle line position send one brigade up with the guns to secure the high ground although I don't want okay there we go send some cavalry to support the push on the hill heavy cavalry out on the flank howitzers providing Constant withering fire. My general is going to hunker down here. Damn, they've got shrapnel shot. You guys need to storm those positions. Shrapnel shot is a late game artillery round. That is really darn good. Really good. No, I don't want you to go over there. That's probably quite an aggressive move. Shrapnel shot is. It's the bang as the like. Oh yeah, shrapnel shell is. Shrapnel shot is very much like. Um, well, imagine canister shot, but at long range. It's more or less what we got going on. Retarget my howitzers to attack the bulk of their land forces because our storming divisions are in position. Artillery is taking some damage. So the shrapnel shell shows up as a position here, like a special type of round. I mean, I 
thought these guys were going to charge them. You guys just stay quite happily where you are. No, no, you guys stay where you are. Charge the cavalry in. bayonet charge you guys try to hit the fusiliers prior to them putting down spikes Actually, no don't bad idea change targets get my hussars to take out their provincial cav my marines hunker down into square damn that's some good quick lime shells except for the guys except for the marines they got hit Except for a lot of my troops, they got hit with friendly fire. So you guys switched around sharp. And you. So my hussars can beat Provincial Cav. these men around to fire into the square formations entirely understandable that some of my men are wavering Swiss guard are attacking their flank yep they've broken Pushing in. So you guys go around the rear. This line up from tree. Hold. My cavalry smash into that unit of militia. Push around on the left. And my marines just have to hold on. their dragoons should be a bit upset from being shot in the back so our infantry is destroying their dragoons you guys get out of square cavalry is hitting the militia but I probably want to get them out of the way now No, no, not that way. Spikes. Spikes, 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 spikes. Run away behind the lines, turn fight well off, so my men don't shoot my own cavalry. <clears throat> there we go. Some line infantry guards are feeling pretty chuffed with themselves. You've got to go in and fight the heavy cavalry. These guys can try and engage the fusiliers. Not cavalry, you guys. Push up, you go hit the dragoons. Damn, that's so close to being friendly fire. That's so close to killing the 115th. Just halt, halt how it's a fire for now. I'd like you guys to hit the line infantry, but it's a bit risky. Fusiliers, however, are really bad. Well, not really bad, they're just not very good at melee combat. My general's going to ride in through the militia. Yeah. 
Swiss Guards, Footline, Marines. Keep the Horse Guards running around the spikes. Nope, you guys don't run into the barricades. You guys are mowing down the fusiliers. Good stuff. So you're going to hit the militia. You're going to hit this militia. When these guys fire their volleys, I'm going to turn firewall off. Then my cavalry, my heavy cavalry, can hit them. Fire well off, you fire well off. You fired your last volley as well. Let's continue it. I'm not necessarily going after the most efficient units, but just try kill them. and this fella if I was careful after the Fusiliers oh man these guys did have caught up and killed the line infantry guards awesome you guys go help out killing the militia Yeah, the rest of the armies, the rest of the troops have got to the uh, the edges of the battlefield, so my general might kill these fusiliers if things go well. There's only four of them left. Good, got them. Okay, everyone after that unit of militia. No, they're definitely going to escape. But still, it was a good battle. Managed to absolutely destroy them. Close. That wasn't close. It's fun, though. But there we go. We lost 888 of our men. They've only got 600, 538 men remaining. Then my men replenish as much as you can with a thousand, which isn't very isn't a whole lot of men. You're still going to be fully replenished before you go attack these fellas. Mainly because they've got lots of good cavalry and understrength infantry is just asking to get um, destroyed and routed by good cavalry. Okay, the next turn we will unlock... Uh, which one is it? Citizenship. Good. Let's hit end turn. It might be wise to actually land and take Amsterdam, because that would be quite a nice position behind the lines that I could hold on to as well. Yep, the Prussians are blitzing towards Vienna. See, it feels like they want to attack me, but they can't, because they can't risk it. Here's a Russian fleet. Are they going to actually blockade me and do some raiding? Aha! Let's see what you've got. Second rate, first rate, second rate, first rate, first rate, and a bunch of heavy frigates. No, that's not a fight for our frontline fleet. So just you run away. Oh, the Russian navy is growing in size. You gonna raid off of Spanish coast? Yeah. Don't worry, Russia. Your time will come. Here comes two more armies heading west. Ah, 
Oh, don't worry, fellas. We have plans for you. Sorry, my phone keeps buzzing. Okay, so our spy is in Amsterdam. A good listener. But it looks like he died. Okay, so instead of going down this route, go down Classical Economics, which is so powerful. So much money. Fortunately, we don't have any rakes to kill any of these fellas, because I think the Turkish scholar's about to try and start stealing my tech. Got basic roads in Santo Domingo. Just got to bear in mind, we do have to do some economic upgrades, um, because we are expanding our... We're expanding our armed forces rapidly. You could go take the Leeward Islands. And you guys can spend another grand on punishing Mich then, uh, Michel Contarini. You guys come after and hit this army here. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.